I'd like to respectfully acknowledge that the land on which we gather is the traditional unceded and unsurrendered territory of the Willistigway people. And good morning, OHS. So, could all members of the Safe Grad Committee please meet in room 272, aka Madame Harris's room, at noon today for a very important planning meeting. Any grads who would like to help out are welcome to attend. Miss Bryden's grade 9 students from semester 1, Q2, can pick up their artwork. It will be available until Wednesday, February 21st. Any remaining artwork after February 21st will be disposed of. Don't be disappointed and pick up your artwork as soon as possible. Hey OHS, I'm here with Mary Waringa. We just wanted to let you know that tireless effort slips went in yesterday after school. And make sure you get those in because you don't want to miss the Tireless Separate Awards. So. That's right. Thanks, guys. See you later, OHS. Also, applications to attend this summer's French language program at the University of Moncton are now being accepted. The Summer French Camp is a four-week immersion program administered by the University of Moncton. Grades 9 and 10 students enrolled in French immersion or post-intensive French are eligible to apply. The camp will be running from July 1st to July 27th of 2018, which is this summer. This is a wonderful opportunity for students to enhance their French language abilities, develop greater confidence in using a second language, and extend their understanding of Francophone culture. As the number of reserved seats is limited, interested students are encouraged to register early. The application submission deadline is March 2nd of 2018. Students should give their completed application form to their French teacher or to Mademoiselle Michaud in room 112. So, the Ross and Netherwood School in Riverview has invited OHS students to participate in a model United Nations that will be held on Saturday, April 14th. The MUN is offering four committees with varying topics in which students can participate. So there's the Security Council, the First Committee on Peace and Disarmament, the Third Committee on Social, Cultural and Humanitarian Issues, there, and there's the Fourth Committee, which is a Specialized Committee. Yeah, so who is Model UN for? It is for anyone. Students range in grades 6 to 12 who represent a full cross-section of the school community. The MUN is diverse, being represented by the purely academic to the athletic. This is a great opportunity to demonstrate and enhance your leadership and problem-solving skills while diving more deeply into the issues facing your world today. The information meeting will be taking place on Thursday, February 15th, at noon in room 246. So that's today at lunch, guys. Yeah. So we're gonna see what Duncan's doing in the hallway real quick. On to you, Duncan. Thanks, Duncan. So I'm here uh, by the gymnasium right now, here with Mr. B, starting goalie of the Pylons floor hockey team. As you guys know, the floor hockey team and the floor, floor hockey tournament has recently kicked off yesterday as of lunchtime. And so we're here to talk to Mr. B. How do you think the game went, Mr. B? Oh, it was awesome. Uh, we had the, the teacher team. It started with only six players. Uh, apparently, they didn't have a goalie, so uh, they heard, you know, I play a little bit in net, so I went in. I had a decision to make. Do I wear a goalie mask and take my glasses off and not see anything, or do I kind of tough it out? And uh, it was great. The gym was full. We had lots of fans. We were playing the hockey boys. They thought they were all that and a bag of chips. 
Uh, just want to let you know, halftime score was 4-1 for the teachers, and the final score, Duncan, was 6-4, uh, again for the teachers. Uh, it was a good game, though. The boys came out strong. Um, I took a ball off the glasses. One uh, smoked me right in the lips, but at the end of the day, the teachers played hard and came through. Good job, teachers. Woo! So we're excited for the floor hockey tournament to continue. As of lunchtime, you guys can go in and watch, support the Blues, you know. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Mr. Hope to B. See you there. Thanks, Mr. B. You're welcome. Anytime, Duncan. Back to you, Duncan. Thanks, Duncan. Uh, now we have some news for potential grads. So, congratulations on entering your last semester of high school. Many of you have asked, what should I be doing now for scholarships? Well, step one is to complete your applications to the university or college of your choice. Step two would be to apply to the entrance scholarships available at the university to which you are applying to. Example, if you are applying to UMB, apply to the entrance scholarships available from UMB. Step three, be mindful of the deadlines for entrance scholarships. Many are due March 1st. Many of the local scholarships will be available in the coming weeks ahead. You can view a list of these scholarships on the OHS website by clicking the tab Faculties and then clicking the tab Guidance and Graduation. So if any of you guys have questions, you can go ahead and visit your guidance counselors in the guidance offices. Yeah, and that's all we have for today, OHS. Have a great day, guys. See ya.